Hey y'all, I wanted my very first video to be a kind of a deep dive into my blog. And my blog, if you don't know, is called Elements of Style. It is my baby, one of my uh, favorite pastimes. I have been writing since I was a small child. That was actually one of my original uh, life paths. I was supposed to be a writer, but things didn't happen that way. Um, I kind of fell out of love with writing and I'm a person who has issues with deadlines and so once it started to become less about artistic expression and more about technicality it kind of took a back seat and once I discovered that I was more interested in fashion that's when I completely you know abandoned it unless it was um, in a time of crisis when I needed a healthy coping mechanism so when I was asked to write a blog back in 2018 I was thrilled because I kind of feel like I don't have an opinion that's valued. I don't have an opinion that most people want to hear, but the people who do want to hear it really want to hear it. So I was super thrilled to just sit down and think about my process as a stylist. I am one who doesn't typically explain what I do um, in general when it comes to styling. In life, I just make moves and I don't really care to elaborate. Um, but I find that after speaking with lots of different people, explanation can be helpful. When I'm pulling things for clients, I have been known to just assume that they saw the value in a piece. Assume that they saw the potential in a piece. And in reality, they're just looking at me like, what is this? Why? Why are you so excited about this and you know me just not explaining why kind of leaves a lot of room for eh, I, don't, I can take it or leave it but in reality something can be amazing with lots of versatility and all it takes is a little bit of explanation from me and you know it could essentially change their whole look so with that being said I decided to start writing that blog and my earlier entries were a lot longer simply because I guess it was just time to kind of let some things off and things that I felt were important for my readers which would be my followers, current clients, past clients, things that I felt were important for them to know. It kind of began as my opinions on style and you know the fundamentals what I think the elements of style are and I coined fit flattery and fascination those are some key fundamentals when building a look at least what I keep in the back of my mind when I'm picking things out for people so does it fit you is it made for someone of your body type um, is the silhouette flattering for you? Does it accentuate something that you don't want accentuated? Does it play up something that you really love to show off? Or are you playing with proportions? Do you want a little bit of drama in the form of something really baggy or in the form of something super form-fitting? Consider fit. Flattery, is it helping you do what you want it to do? Are you uh, wearing these clothes? Are these clothes wearing you? And, you know, does it look like these clothes were made for you? So those things are important. And fascination. Is it interesting? Do you feel good when you wear it? Do you have a double take moment in the mirror once you put it on? Is it interesting? Why did you pick that out? You know what I mean? So those things I felt were super important to elaborate on because... You know, some people don't really care too much about what they're putting on. Some people just get dressed out of necessity. Nudity is illegal. Um, yeah, some people just stop right there. Other people decide, hey, I'm going to be in a certain kind of mood today. I want my look to reflect that. And, you know, some people fall in between those two extremes. So I thought that just kind of explaining those things would be helpful to people simply because I can't live my life as a stylist assuming that everybody knows exactly what I know. I can't assume that everyone thinks the way that I think. Everybody can't see the things the way that I see them. And that's why it would be important to hire me because I have a vision, I have a perspective that maybe you don't have and that you would want to tap into. So that's kind of how it began. And then after a while, I started to 
dive into correlations between your style and your mental health. And I felt like those were super important blogs. Um, you can read all of my entries um, from beginning to end on my site, styledbyimani.com. But I really felt like, you know, although I'm not a mental health professional, I do make sure to highlight that in each of those entries. I thought that it was really something that I hadn't seen before. Um, anybody diving deep into correlating trauma with style choices, correlating what you feel like wearing and why you feel that way. And I thought that, you know, drawing a few conclusions would help people to realize, hey, I'm in a rut and this is why. I remember having a consultation with a client and asking, so when was the last time you felt like you really loved your style? And um, the client explained, you know, a period of time, maybe over a decade ago. And then I asked, so what happened? What is it that made you press pause and no longer enjoy your style? Like, what is it? And the client, you know, proceeded to tell me about a traumatic event. And, you know, we kind of put those pieces together and I could see in that moment they, you know, had a little bit of an epiphany because, you know, that was the last time they felt good about what they were wearing. And then from that point forward, it was just throwing things on just out of survival, just, you know, just to get through the day, to get through the week, to get through life. Clothing and their appearance were no longer a priority, but ultimately it became something that affected their confidence. So although fashion and style may not seem super important, ultimately when you look at yourself in the mirror and the way you're presenting yourself to people at work, your friends, your family, when you're painting a picture and you don't like the picture, it affects you. You know, if you're quite in, in the opposite sense, if you love what you're presenting to others, you inspire others to want to express themselves through clothing. But ultimately, if you look good, you feel good about it. But you can't look good without feeling good already. So uh, lots of different scenarios that have affected my style. I definitely dress uh, in a mood-based kind of a process. So it really depends on the day, it depends on how I'm feeling. I am a moody cancer, so my moods definitely fluctuate and my clothing reflects that. So I like to make sure that my closet is stocked with all kinds of options because some days I simply just don't have the energy. I don't have the bandwidth, but I know that my future self would always want me to look good but my present day self may not have the energy to pull through. So I like to let my clothes do the hard work for me. So I like to make sure that I keep things around that I know I can depend on when I can't quite depend on myself. So, you know, everybody may have different mental health struggles. Some people may not struggle with their mental health, but I know I do. So sometimes you gotta make sure that your wardrobe is taking care of you when you don't have the capacity to completely take care of yourself. As of late, I took a little bit of a break um, during the pandemic. Honestly, that would have been a perfect time to, you know, write tons of new entries, but that is not how it went. I was not in the mood. I didn't really, I didn't have it in me. Um, and after a while, I started to see tons of how has your style changed through the pandemic pieces and I felt like everything had been done and you know I don't have anything original to contribute to this concept then it gets discouraging so I did not write anything uh, I didn't write any elements of style entries for quite some time but once I decided to fully relaunch my brand I decided that it was time to pick elements of style back up and just breathe some new life into it, give some new perspectives. So I started off reminding people the importance of working with a stylist and that it doesn't mean that the partnership had to be uh, a life sentence, you know, um, just because you have a stylist. Like, I guess, a lawyer, working with a lawyer. You know, you can have one on retainer if you want to, but you can, you know, 
work with that lawyer when you need them. And essentially, that's what I was explaining. Just much shorter entries these days because some people don't want to read a long blog. And I get that. Um, a lot of people want to access their information in different ways. Me especially, I like to absorb my information tons of different ways. I'm busy. So I figured that this would be a great medium to discuss those blog topics because I want to reach everybody um, people who are privy to reading blogs and people who are more privy to watching long-form videos and i also like to just grab little quotations and put them on social media in different ways that are slightly more digestible because i feel like what i do have to say about styling is important and my clients present and future would benefit from hearing those things but essentially, um, do you need to work with a stylist for a season? Has a new chapter of your life began? Have you started a new job? Did you just have a child? Are you moving to a different state or a different country? Like, are your lifestyle needs changing? And does your wardrobe need to accommodate those changes? So are you doing a big overhaul or is it an event? Like, do you have a birthday coming up or a trip or, you know, a front facing event that uh, requires you to elevate a little bit? Um, is it just a one time thing? Do you have a photo shoot coming? You know, things like that. Or are you wanting to embark on a brand new partnership? Do you want to have a stylist available to you at all times? Someone to consult with when you're making a new purchase or, you know, if you want to schedule a quarterly uh, overhaul uh, just to plan out some outfits for the season. I was just outlining the fact that I can serve a multitude of needs. It does not have to be uh, forever. It can be just for one session. It could be just for a short period of time or, you know, it could be a long term thing. It's totally up to you. But I just wanted everyone to know that these services are tailored to your needs and that's what i felt was important and uh, most recently i was discussing the power of style and how we communicate so many messages through our clothing and through what we wear when people tap into that and use it for their advantage they may get a little bit further in life using those powers for good can be beneficial working with a stylist can help you to develop those skills so i wrote a little on that so feel free to take a look let me know what you think but uh, you know understand what elements of style was all about and just to look forward to new entries because they're a great way to get a little bit of a sample of what it's like to work with a stylist and working with me, consulting with me. And just, you know, it's obviously it's just free game. It's free, zero dollars, and it's valuable information. And, you know, I sometimes hear things from other people. Just one little quote can just stay with you for a lifetime. So... I hope that I can drop a gem that stays with someone for a lifetime. You know, whenever they get dressed or looking at their closet, I would hope that they would reflect on something that I said to, you know, help them make the process a little bit easier. So, but in closing, I just wanted everybody to know Elements of Style is available uh, from beginning to present day at styledbyimani.com. But besides that, I'm excited to roll out uh, tons of new fun content. And I am grateful for your subscription and your follow. I have a lot in store and I would love for you to see it all. So thank you so much for watching. <laughs>